So today we're going to be looking at a second grade visual art standard of learning. The student will identify works of art and elements of architecture of other cultures. Have you ever wondered what kinds of art is being made by other cultures? Maybe you've wondered how art came around in the first place. Let's go back in time and take a look at some of the first cultures to create art. If we can understand how and why people created art back then, maybe we can understand how and why it is still being made today. What do we know about the prehistoric period? The first thing that comes to mind is the prehistoric caveman. Cavemen were responsible for some of the first art ever recorded in history. Many of these creations were found in France, and many were also found in Spain. Oftentimes, they were found on walls of caves by people that looked much like this. What do you think these types of people were recording? And why do you think they were recording them? Many of the things that they were painting on the walls of these caves were things that they were seeing every day. Sometimes it would be horses. And other times it would be bulls. These bull paintings can be found in caves in Altamira, Spain. These paintings weren't discovered until centuries and centuries later, but they helped historians to gather information on the lives of our ancestors. These paintings demonstrated early humans' capacity to give meaning to their surroundings and communicate with others. Fast forward a few thousand years to ancient Egypt. This was the golden age of pharaohs and pyramids. This culture created some of the sturdiest and most long-lasting art in the world. There has been speculation on how these ancient civilizations could have built the pyramids, but that isn't only what they are known for. Egyptians are also known for their ability to create sculptures and their highly detailed tomb wall paintings. Here we see a replication of a bust of Pharaoh Nefertiri. Here we see some examples of hieroglyphics. The early dynastic period of ancient Egypt reached a high level in painting and sculpture that was both highly stylized and symbolic. Many times, Egyptians used to tell stories and honor the deceased. Let's keep going through time to ancient Rome. Rome was a city located in Italy. The Romans were well established in their ability to make sculptures and buildings. In fact, there are so many awesome examples that have survived from ancient Rome that we know a lot about their social history. The veristic or true style of Republican portraiture conveyed authority and also emphasized one's association with their distinguished ancestors. And Roman architecture was one of the first examples of the use of concrete in a concept called the arch. Last but not least on our stop in the past is the ancient civilization of China. During this time, Chinese artists created pottery and painted it. Soon, paintings were revered for their beautiful forms and writings. Calligraphy, or hand-painted writing, soon became its own form of art in ancient China. Most of these paintings and calligraphic works were created on silk and differed from anything else at the time, because they emphasized motion and were charged with dynamic life. Let's catch up with the world today. Many artists still sculpt to depict the people that they know, and still paint to portray the things that they see every day. We have these ancient civilizations to think, for teaching us how to create buildings and structures. We can learn so much about creating if we research how many creations were made by other cultures back then.